Hey, what's happening there, folks? G the Hack Guy here, back at you with another awesome hat video here. Okay, uh, we're gonna be discussing, uh, you know, the types types of straws you must know. Okay, the title of this video again is Types of Straws You Must Know. Okay, and you see, you've got the sign there for the thumbnail. It says, "What straw hat is your favorite?" Okay, let me know in the comment section what straw hat is your favorite. Okay. Also, subscribe to the channel, like, share the video with other folks who can benefit. Okay, in this video, you're going to be uh, enlightened more and gain some new insights about straw hats, the different types of stores, straw hats out there. Okay, and uh, when you watch the video to the end, okay, you gain more knowledge. Hopefully, you become somewhat of an expert yourself about uh, straw hats. Okay, and the different types of stores, popular st uh, straw hat options out there okay so subscribe to the channel like share and let me know about what kind of straw hats you have in the comment section talk to me okay so let's go on with this you see uh this one right in front of me this is uh, a shantung store okay sometimes also called a japanese shantung okay which is actually used to be made out of a uh a natural uh you know, wheat type uh, straw, and I believe uh, it still is. You know, certain times, but the popular one now they make it out of uh, paper straw. You know, uh, and uh, yeah, they, they they do a tight weave. You see the tight weave on that, okay? Uh, similar to like a, a paper straw uh, or a uh, uh, the material similar to like a paper straw or like a uh, toyo. Uh, which is also a type of paper straw as well with a wider weave uh, so the shantung like i said it started out being natural straw that they use and uh, uh they they still kind of use it sometimes here and there with the natural wheat straw but uh on the mass production scale now that they make it overseas maybe like places like china and stuff you know now they use uh, it's just a paper straw they do the tight weave on the paper straw which is artificial, you know, whatnot. But the Shantung, because of the weave, you know, it's considered to be a higher quality compared to your, uh, you know, it's supposed to compete with like your Panama straws and and uh, hemp straw type weave. They have a tighter weave on them, whatnot. But this is a uh, traditional fedora with a center dent, two pinches in front. You got the hat band. You know, this one has got a nice uh, leather sweatband on the inside there. Okay. Uh, you know, and it even has like a netting on the inside, you know, which is uh, called uh, buckram, you know, what now in the hat making field. Okay, really nice there. Uh, breathable summer hat. You know, again, this is your Santon. I'm sure you all are familiar with this. You see, these are pretty popular, like your Panama uh, straw hats. So that's the first type of, uh, you know. Uh, straw hat for the summer there uh, the next one that I have here uh, this derby style here is your uh, this is your traditional toyo paper straw with a wider weave on it so the, the weave is wide on this one this is like a derby style hat it's got the binding got the multicolor feather we got the hat band on there same color and ivory and this has got a cotton sweatband on the inside you see, that's the paper straw there with a wider weave. Okay. So, again, you got the Shantung with a much smaller weave paper straw. You have the uh, the wider weave on the uh, on the Toyo. Okay. The Toyo straw. You know, with the open dome derby style, you know, hat on this one here. Okay. So, that's that one. And then, let's see what else I got for you here. Bear with me here. Let's see what else we have. I'm trying to record with one hand and show you the hats with another hand. We have the seagrass. The seagrass here is natural, it comes from the seagrass plant, you know, from the ocean. You know, they let it dry, they harvest it, they let it dry, and then, uh, you know, they stiffen it and they turn it into, uh, they make it into hat bodies for hats. Okay, really nice, breathable. She's got the vents in there. You know, a little bit of a wider weave. 
you know, this one's got the chair drop top, you know, it's got two pinches, stand for door, nice multicolor band on that, okay, seagrass, you know, for door, she's got the uh, cotton sweatband on the inside here, okay, for this one, you know, breathable, fedora style, at this point in the video, folks, if you're gaining something, you're learning something, some new information, go ahead and uh, give the video a thumbs up for me. That's the way you can support the channel. Like, share, comment. Okay, let me know what kind of straw hats do you own. Are you familiar with some of these straw hats? Which I'm assuming you are if you're a hat person. If you're not really into hats, you just learn about hats, let me know. You know, what do you know about these straws? What not? These different types of straw hats, okay? Uh, yeah, say hi, say hello in the comment section. Also, check out on Facebook. We're trying to grow our uh, hat group, okay, on Facebook. Okay, it's the Hat Lounge with G the Hat Guy. That's what you want to search for. The the hat group, uh, Facebook group is the Hat Lounge, just like it sounds. The Hat Lounge, okay, L O U N G Lounge with, uh, I'm sorry, by G the Hat Guy. The Hat Lounge by G the Hat Guy. That's what you want to search for. The Hat Lounge by G the Hat Guy. Okay, same name on Facebook. Send me your request and I'll go ahead and uh, uh, approve your request. You know, and then you can start posting your own pictures of your hat collection, your headwear collection. You know, uh, you know uh, what you're wearing, your ensemble with your different outfits. You know that kind of stuff. Uh, no spam. Okay, no spam. We want quality stuff. All right. And so like, share this video with somebody else who's into hats or looking at getting into hats and learning more. Okay. So that's the seagrass uh, we're showing there. The seagrass fedora. Okay. And then the next one, let's see what else I've got for you here. Well, I, just, I just dropped the hat there. Okay. The next one, we can do this one here. It's the polypropylene, okay? The polypropylene, let me show you that one here. Let me get it off here. The polypropylene, this one is uh, it's plastic. Okay, this is on the lower end of the spectrum. It's a fedora, it's made out of plastic, polypropylene, plastic, pretty popular. See, uh, you get the cotton sweat band on the inside, it's not breathable. It's not like the natural stuff. It's not breathable. You know, this on uh, this is on the lower end of the spectrum. You know, different stuff for different budgets. This one probably run retail anywhere between twenty-five to thirty-five dollars, somewhere around there. You know, twenty-five, thirty bucks. You know, you might be able to get it on you know for twenty bucks even. You know, so uh, you see the band is sort of on the on the cheaper end of the spectrum. It's got like a nylon or like a what is it? Uh, rayon type band. Got multicolor feather. What not? If you're on the lower, your budget's a little bit kind of lower there. Something like this will work, you know, as well for uh, for a summer hat. So that's polypropylene I just showed you. Okay. Again, if you're learning something from the video, folks, from any one of our videos that you've seen, or if you're new, it's your first time, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Got great, awesome hat content coming your way. Like, share, subscribe, okay? Share with somebody else who's into hats. Check us out, our Facebook group on, uh, yeah, um, on Facebook. It's The Hat Lounge by G The Hat Guy. The, hat, the Hatter's Lounge, I'm sorry. The Hatter's Lounge by G The Hat Guy. The Hatter's Lounge by G the hat guy okay on Facebook also on Instagram it's G the hat guy on Instagram G the hat guy on Instagram and I've got a Panama straw which you might be a bit more familiar with here these come in different grades okay they measure the quality the wider the weave the lower the quality the smaller the weave the higher the quality they go from a grade 1 to a grade 20 I've got a couple other videos that kind of talk about this and yes, yes, this one has got a center dent, two pinches, fedora. You see the middle, that's where the weave starts there. You see how the weave starts for this one? You see that? And it goes in circles. That's where how they started to weave, to weave this into a hat. And then they shape it and block it and stiffen it. Put a sweat band, put a hat band, all that good stuff, okay? This particular one is about a, I say about a grade three. 
They go from a grade one to a grade 20, and they come from different regions uh, in Latin America and Ecuador. That's where Panama hats uh, came from, okay? And uh, they have Cuenca straw. They have Tequila straw. It's pretty popular. They have uh, Monte Cristi, which is top of the line. And, uh, yeah, so I have the different versions. You know, you also have Brisa. There's Brisa. Uh, Panama straw as well as a natural plant okay uh, they, they run anywhere between uh, over a hundred dollars just about a, over a hundred you know to fifteen hundred two thousand plus twenty five hundred if it's custom made if you're not paying for the name all that other stuff you know so you can get it on sale if you're lucky maybe about a grade one to a grade three you know for about 70 75 80 bucks on sale if you're able to catch it on sale you can get it for that price you know, that's, those are the price points that I do when I mark them down, whatnot, trying to get rid of them. But typically we'll run, you know, about the 120 range, 115, somewhere around the 125 range retail. Okay, it's about a grade three, like I said. Um, so, yeah, this particular one, she's got the nice woven poly, uh, it's got the poly hat, polyester mix hat band there. It's got a... Uh, uh, woven polyester sweatband. She's got a wider weave on there. You see that weave? It's a little bit wider. Okay. And then I'll show you the uh, the stamp. You see that burnt stamp there? Okay, that tells you about the quality. Okay, that burnt stamp, that's all about the quality. Okay. So, this lets you know if it's a genuine Panama hat, store hat. Okay, that's what that Signify. It says handmade in Ecuador. Sometimes you can't see it clearly the way they stamp it, whatnot. So it says handmade or hand woven in Ecuador. If you want to look for that stamp, if you don't see that stamp, then it's not genuine. Or it might have a sticker as well. It might have a sticker where the uh, brand name is right there. Okay, typically in the center we say hand woven or handmade, like a white sticker with a seal on it. Okay, but that 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 seal, that stamp seal, burnt seal. It's real popular. That's the signature. Let you know if it's a genuine Panama straw hat. Okay, so you want to look for that. So that's the Panama I showed you. I think I got one last one for you to show you. I actually have a couple. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, I got a ton of them out here. Different straw hats. Uh, yeah, this one is the hemp. I'm trying to record here. Make sure I don't drop nothing and show you these hats. This is the hemp. This is a high quality, similar to Panama, but it's more durable than Panama is. You know, depending on the grade of Panama, because the higher quality Panamas, yeah, they're, they're pretty durable as well. Uh, yeah, this one comes from the hemp plant, okay, which is natural, biodegradable option. And then also, uh, uh, yeah, it's sewn, okay, it's woven and sewn. They come in bundles. She's the stitches in it, okay. It's got a vintage style band on there, center dent, two pictures in the front. It's about a two and a quarter inch brim on that one. And then it's got the uh, woven polyester sweat band. Okay, uh, so that's the hemp. You know, sometimes they have the uh, myelin hemp, which is plastic. They call it myelin, you know, or, or just myelin straw. You know, sometimes it's kind of like an imitation, but that's plastic. This is the real deal here from the hemp plant, the natural one. Sometimes the natural one, they use like a wheat. Uh, wheat type uh, straw to weave them, uh, but typically would be uh, woven natural hemp, like real hemp uh, straws that they use uh, to uh, they process it and then they weave it. You know, it's really doable. This is my number one option, the hemp, and then Panama, because again, with the Panama, depending on what grade you get, you know, um, you know, it affects the quality with the tighter weave or the smaller weaves on them. But that's the hemp straw, you know, nice center dent, kind of like a light mustard, yellow color, really nice you got going on there. So let me show you the next one here. We've got, this one is another natural, natural straw hat. Folks, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Got awesome hat content. If you gain something, you're learning something here, okay? Show your love, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Join our hat group on Facebook. We're trying to grow that. It's uh, the Hatter's Lounge. The Hatter's Lounge by G the Hat Guy on Facebook. Okay, the Hatter's Lounge by G the Hat Guy. 
also uh, on Instagram. It's G the Hat Guy. If you're on Instagram, follow us on Instagram. We're trying to grow the social platforms along with the YouTube channel, okay? Give it a thumbs up, the video. Thumbs up the video. I have the last one here is a natural store. This is Raffia. Raffia has been around for centuries, you know, uh, as old as uh, Panama straws, you know, whatnot. You know, this is typically done by families as well. This is big in uh, Africa, okay, in the continent of Africa, different parts of Africa, West Africa, uh, uh, Madagascar, places like that. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, you know, hand woven as well and then sewn together. Similar in the, a bit like the hemp straw. It comes in wide, wider as well. They could do like wider, really big weave or a smaller, tighter weave. This is a smaller, tighter weave version for a fedora hat. Teardrop top. It's got the hat band. And natural typically costs more than say like the polypropylene, the plastic stuff, or the paper straw uh, uh, that I showed you, that derby that I showed you earlier. Kind of fell down there. <laughs> See that? You see that uh, derby down there. Yeah, so this is the raffia. It's natural. Okay. It's got the uh, the cotton sweatband, as you can see. You can see the weave close up there. You know, it's woven, you know, and then sewn together. Okay, so that's raffia. That's natural. Like I said, this has been around for centuries, you know, in Africa, different parts of Africa. West Africa is pretty popular for raffia, whatnot. You know, this is about a uh, two-inch brim size on this. Really nice summer hat, breathable, classic stuff, you know. So so I hope you learned something. You gained some new insights about the different types of uh, uh, straws, straw hats out there. Okay, thumbs up the video. Share, like. Okay, comment. Join the Facebook group, uh, The Hatter's Lounge with G The Hat Guy. Follow us on Instagram. So I'm signing out. It's G the Hat Guy. Thank you for watching. Got more awesome hat content coming your way. Thank you. Bye-bye.